Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 18.2 is just around the corner. We now have just a few days left until Apple releases this big update to iOS 18, bringing a ton of new features, a new set of Apple intelligence features and other improvements and fixes to iOS 18. Now this week we're expecting Apple to release the RC version of iOS 18.2 and the final release should happen on Monday, December the 2nd. So in today's video we're taking a look at this update and I will show you guys 10 amazing new features that you shouldn't miss out on the new iOS 18.2. First off, we're moving to the settings app. Now we have a new option here under the settings app for your speakers. You can finally set a volume limit for the speakers of your iPhone. Now the way to do that, head on under sounds and haptics, and then you will find here a button which basically lets you set the volume limit for the built-in speakers. You go to the volume limit section and right here you have a switch where you can turn on the limit maximum volume. So you can see right here we have a slider and this slider can be adjusted from 20% to 90%. So the minimum you can set is 20% while the maximum limit here is 90%. Of course, if you switch it off, then you're at 100%. So if you just want to do that, or maybe you have an iPhone that you lent to someone and you don't want them to basically fully blast music on the speakers of the iPhone or something else, any media playing there. And of course they have maybe a chance to actually damage the speakers of your iPhone, then you can just go ahead and limit the feature, limit the sound right here, enable the feature and set the volume here with this slider. And we're staying here on the settings app, but we're moving to the notifications section where we have new options for the mail settings. So head on under mail here. So we have the mail of course notification set up right here. But what you can do now with iOS 18.2 is customize the notifications for your emails. If you go here, you will have here badge count. So you can choose what you want to see on the badges on the mail app. So you will have unread messages from the primary section or all unread messages. As you know, with iOS 18.2, we have a new mail app, which will categorize your emails. And now you can choose here what you want to see there, whether you want to see all the unread messages or just the messages that you have on your primary section. Now with iOS 18.2, we also get a new toggle for the control center, which of course you can use on the lock screen as well. And that is the button that allows you to type to Siri. So this is very useful if you use it on maybe the lock screen of your device. So you can just go ahead and straight up start typing to Siri directly from your lock screen or maybe you can use it from your control center. Now, another way to use this, which would be actually very efficient, is if you have an iPhone with an action button, then you can actually go ahead and set it up on the action button. So anytime you want to like just start a conversation with Siri, you want to type to Siri, you can actually do that directly from the action button. And this allows us to quickly start a conversation with Siri by typing simply by invoking it through the button right here on the action button. Another very useful change that Apple has made with iOS 18.2 is that now when you select a text, you will get the writing tools right away. So if I select that text, you can see the writing tools will be on the front page. Previously, you had to swipe here to find the writing tools. Now we have them just right there. You can go ahead and quickly invoke the writing tools of the new iOS 18.2. Now with the writing tools on iOS 18.2, you will find another very useful feature. If you invoke the writing tools, you will see this page right here that looks exactly like the one on iOS 18.1. But if you just drag it like this, you will get a new section to compose. Now when you go here, it basically moves to ChatGPT and you can go ahead and now start composing from the writing tools via ChatGPT. And now let's move on here to the podcast app on podcast, head on to your library. And what you will see right here is a new section called categories. If you go right here, you will have the categories of a different like podcasts that you follow. If you go to manage right here, then you will see all the different categories. Of course, you can go ahead and enable or disable any of them. And even if you want to add like maybe once from the ones that you don't have here, but are under the popular, you can just go ahead and select them and they will be added to the category 
rewards that you have here which is really awesome now you can see right here if you go to one of them it will show you all the different podcasts from that category you can also go ahead and favorite that category and place it at the top right there or just tap this button to just start playing right away a podcast from that category and iOS 18.2 now makes it easier for you to find your items. This is what's new with Find My on iOS 18.2. So share item location. You will basically get help finding your location by sharing the location with maybe an airline or a trusted person. So if it, let's say you use maybe your luggage, you have an air tag right there you can now actually share the location of that air tag with in this case they have the example here of an airline maybe or just a trusted person that you have and that would should make it much easier for you to find any items that you have lost and we're moving here under safari if you go to safari and tap on the edit button now you will see right here that we have new wallpapers there are six new wallpapers that you can now add to the front page of safari and you will see these like download buttons you will have to first download them on your device of course before you can use them that's very simple to do you just tap on it and in a couple of seconds you should have the wallpaper downloaded on your device and of course set up as the front page for your safari so if you just want to change to any of these wallpapers you can do that as easy as this another really great improvement with safari on ios 18.2 is that now when you go to hide distracting items like this you can actually move through the page even if i select that i can still move through the page here when i'm hiding different items from safari so that's really cool previously on ios 18.1 that used to be just locked on the page right there so you could not move while you're actually hiding distracting items now you can scroll as easy as that and just find any item you want to hide and for the last one we're moving under the safari settings so head on to settings go to apps and then under safari you will find here a new option to enable to basically get a warning when the connection is not secured that's a really really great option to have of course it will save you from just like going to websites you shouldn't go you enable the feature right here and then whenever you're trying to have access to a website that doesn't have a secure connection safari with ios 18.2 will give you a pop-up so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 10 amazing features of the new ios 18.2 that you shouldn't miss out on now ios 18.2 as we know is on the last beta most likely as soon as today we're getting a new rc version getting released for ios 18.2 and then on the december the 2nd on the monday we should get the final release of ios 18.2 so the reports are that it will happen on the week of december the 2nd whether that will be december the 2nd or maybe even the third we have to wait and see but if you just go back and take a look at history usually apple the last few big updates had been released on a monday so we're expecting apple to do the same this time as well so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did and of course if you want to see more ios 18.2 videos make sure to subscribe and i will see you on the next one